Good afternoon, Keith is with Balanced Body Mind. Today I'm going to talk about the frontal plane, issues with stability in the frontal or coronal plane, why we often see issues related to a sagittal plane dominance. If you're very fit, like Inga is here, uh, and other athletic pursuits often tend to have a dominance in the sagittal plane, going backwards and forwards. We're good at squatting, pushing, pulling, chin ups, benching, all those kind of exercises. And more often than not, with particular types of conditioning, and CrossFit is one of those as well, is that we tend to see a lack of exercise that helps us to stabilise in our frontal or uh, lateral sling. So there are ways we can assess, if we just have the feet together here, we can see how stable someone is in the lateral line, just by seeing how much give they have in this plane. And we can see here that sometimes there's, there's not much stability or, or pressure being put against my pressure. Um, we can also see a, a single leg stance as well, what's going on. So here we can assess almost like a gate-like pattern, what's going on in the foot. We can see in the, in the lateral sling, such as how the inner thigh and the abductors communicate with the QL or lower back. And this is, gives us a good sign. And, um, Looking from the foot upwards, we can see there's not too bad stability here. The foot's playing a big part in trying to stabilise here, going from in and out and supination and pronation. But this gives us a good sign about how stable our athlete or our, our fitness competitor is. If we want to, to break this down further, we can regress the pattern down to a split stance. In you go, you like to go down here. And we can see how much stability has when we take away some of that. We can see here, ink is a bit more stable, but there's still need for more work there. Um, so if you find that you do have stability-based issues, particularly in this uh, frontal or coronal plane, we can descend an exercise. And giving yourself an exercise such as a descending single arm shoulder press is a great way of developing stability with less load. Um, say as opposed to doing something standing up or doing lunges where you might not have that frontal plane stability. So if you do find you're a bit wobbly, you have more balance or poor stability, remember you send the exercise into the exercise that Inga's doing and you can do a lot of work to offsetting any injuries you might have from having that sagittal plane dominance.